In this video, we're mixing some colors. Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bridget and I'm an artist and art educator. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to paint with acrylics. This tutorial is super easy for beginners to follow. By the end of this video, you will have the tools and skills that you need to create your very own piece of art. In this video, we're mixing some colors. For this color mixing session, we are keeping things simple. We are using titanium white, some blue, red, and yellow. And that's all you'll really need to mix any color that you want. I recommend using titanium white over zinc white because zinc white is a little bit translucent, um, whereas titanium white is more opaque, so it will um, show up better and lighten your colors better. So we're starting off mixing some light blue. You'll notice that I put down the white first and then I added a small amount of blue to it. When it comes to mixing light colors, it's easier to go darker than it is to go lighter. So that's why I start with the white base and then add blue to it. Now you'll notice that I'm using a palette knife to mix these colors. I recommend using a palette knife over a brush and in a minute you'll see why when I start to mix the, with the brush, but I use a palette knife for better control over my color. I can scrape the bottom of where the paint meets the palette paper and I can really get all those tiny little bits of individual colors and really get them to mix together this way. Now pay attention to the way that I use my palette knife. I scrape the bottom and I fold the paint over itself and I press down. That technique will really get the colors to mix well. This is how most people mix colors with a paintbrush. Now on the surface, this looks like it's doing a good job of mixing, but what you don't see is the individual colors get trapped in between the bristles. This makes it a lot harder to control your color. You can see as I'm scraping the paint out from in between the bristles, all the different shades of pink in there. And I don't want that when I'm mixing a color and you don't get that when you use a palette knife. Now maybe there are some cases where you would want to mix with a brush because you do want those colors to come through individually just to add more visual interest to the piece. But if you don't, then I highly recommend using a palette knife. Here you can see I'm squeezing out all that excess paint and then finishing the job with the palette knife just to really control my color and get that solid pink. Now I'm gonna show you how to mix some purple or like this really deep, rich blue purple color. You can see how I'm scraping the bottom and I am really getting those colors to mix well together by flattening it out and scraping it back together into a pile. Now with a palette knife, it's pretty hard to cut stuff, but still just be, be a little bit careful if you are using palette paper um, when you scrape it, just so that you don't accidentally rip it. But like, you should be totally fine. Now I'm mixing a rust color or an orange color um, just by using a little bit of red and a lot of the yellow. Now to be specific, I'm using a permanent rose color, um, but I would recommend using a quinacridone red and I'm using cadmium yellow. And now I'm going to mix some green using some cadmium yellow and some of that blue. Now it's important to remember when mixing colors, just like how we started off with the white, start off with your lightest color and use your lightest color as a base. Because again, it's so much easier to make your color darker than it is to make it lighter. So mixing this brown is actually a perfect example of what I'm talking about. The way these colors ratioed together made the brown seem a lot more gray and I wanted to warm it up. So here you can see I'm adding red and yellow just to try to make it a little more chocolatey, but it's taking a lot longer than I want it to. It would have been a lot easier if I had started with the yellow and then added the red and blue in small quantities to it afterwards because it's a lot harder to go lighter than it is to go darker. Now we get to enjoy the colors that we mixed. Did I mention that mixing with a palette knife is so satisfying? Like, come on, just look at this. This is wonderful. So smooth and so pretty and all one color because we mixed it with a palette knife. So I'll just let you enjoy these next few clips. So there you go, here are all of the colors that we mixed today in beautiful, nice little blobs. 
And now you're ready to paint. If you like this video, give it a like, comment what you want to see next, and subscribe if you want to see more. As always, you can find me on TikTok, Instagram, and Pinterest. And if you want more in-depth tutorials, subscribe to my Creative Club email. Thanks for watching.